there's a baby and the baby's going to have to be dealt with in some way or we're going to have to figure out what the hell the thing is, first of all. Um, Which baby? Well, I'm talking more about the new baby. Like, what is a hex and beast and a grim baby going to be? And then... Um, I think that, you know, this Elizabeth Rodriguez actress, you know, she's on uh, Orange is the New Black. She did a couple of episodes on, on our show uh, as Agent Chavez with the FBI. So she's coming back. And her return is a kind of harbinger of like a major new direction the show is taking. At the same time, we will be dealing with old mythology that has been kind of let go and we're going to get back to that so I think like hardcore fans will be really into you know we're doing our 100th episode it will be episode 12 of this year I can't even believe I'm saying that our 100th episode is incredible and um, that will be an occasion to I think harken back to some of the the coins and the keys and, and the maps and that kind of stuff that we we were really invested in for a minute and then we kind of dropped the ball and I think we're, we're going back to that. Well, how is it for you as an actor to pre prepare for that emotionally um, charged uh, Western Ryan storyline? Oh, that was so much fun. I mean, you know, that's our that's the stuff that we love. You know what I mean? When you get to go to an extreme, and uh, this show allows for that. You know, it allows for like extreme situations that are they're real, but they're also because it's a it's a world that pushes the boundaries of reality. You get to do crazy stuff like that, you know? And I had a great time with that storyline just because it was dark and difficult and painful and scary. And I think that's what actors live for stuff like that. I didn't see that happening for Adeline being evil and now it's turning to a good person. I know. And it was like that Yeah, well she's she lost her powers and then you see you see what a what a person who is who is a witch is. And when they when they lose that side of themselves, you know, maybe underneath, you know, it's like true of anybody, underneath all that evil, that cruelty is like a kind person. I think that's true of the world in a lot of ways. After, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm so sorry. It's all right. I'm exhausted and it's fine for you to talk. I was just going to say, after everything that, that happened and with Nick, what do you think Monroe's role is going to be in terms of helping him through that? And Nick is in a really, really bad place. I mean, he is... His mother's head is in a box. His girlfriend is dead. His protege has been kidnapped or killed or whatever. And, I mean, that happens early in the season. And he's in a a place where it's not easy to talk to somebody who's in that position. So I think all of us are in a, in a state of basically having to kind of monitor and manage him so he doesn't completely lose his shit and do something really dangerous and bad. And he's on the brink of doing that. So I think that's going to be my role for a while, is at least attempting to to help him through this time, mostly by by keeping him from from screwing up royally. I need to pull him back. Okay, thank Thanks you. Very much, you guys.